G'day there, my name is Kev. The aim of my channel is to help people create and maintain beautiful ponds, but on a budget. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe. It's just officially gone winter here in Australia. Sorry the ponds don't look as nice as they were a few months ago. Uh, we've already had a few frosts. Anyway, the reason for this video is to talk about the bucket skimmer on this pond. Quite a few people have requested more information, so I'm going to hopefully explain how it works so you guys can create one for yourselves. So a skimmer works by creating a tension or pull on the water's surface. This is basically an automatic sweeper for the pond. As you can see, there is very little surface debris on the water. Anything that falls onto the surface is swept into the bucket below the small branch you can see here. To create a skimmer, all you need to do is create water tension. So here's how I did it. I got myself a cheap sturdy bucket and drilled it full of holes. I put the holes in because I was worried if the water level dropped below the lip of the bucket, the pump would suck the bucket dry and that would harm the pump. I dug a small depression in the top shelf for the bucket to sit in. The pump then sits inside the bucket this basically means all the water that moves through the pump needs to move through the bucket. The pump sends the water to the filter, in this case that's a bog filter, and returns it to the pond on the opposite side of where the skimmer sits. I have two large rocks on either side of the skimmer entrance to funnel the water into a narrow gap. To seal the gaps between the rocks and the liner, I used waterfall foam. To help create the surface tension, I added a flap of pond liner and tucked it under a few small rocks. This acts in a similar fashion to how the weir door works in a professional skimmer. It also provides a little bit of flexibility or fluctuation in water level without affecting the function of the skimming action. So here's a bit of a rough sketch of a side on look on how it's all set up. The bucket is recessed into the top shelf and the two large rocks provide a narrow opening from the pond into the skimmer. Between the large rocks, I have the flap of pond liner. You can see the ripples on the water as it zooms through the narrow gap and over the flap of the liner. And that right there is your tension or pull on the surface of the water. So now everything that lands on the pond is being pulled into this one area. I like to add a nice heavy duty filter sponge over the top of the pump to make it easy to clean and stop small fish being sucked into the pump. Once a week I rinse off the sponge and remove any leaves and other debris that is trapped inside the bucket. Now when it comes to how big the gap between the rocks should be, it's a bit of trial and error. It all depends on the amount of water the pump is moving. I just sort of looked at the size of the pipework that was recommended for the pump and made my opening twice the size of the pipe and that seems to have worked out well for me. Anyway that's about all there is to it. Hopefully you feel confident in building your own bucket skimmer. If it was helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions throw them down below. Thanks for watching. See ya.